it's all about light. Controlling light is different than shooting smoother or more fluid video. Addressing another photography topic, one I've seen some confusion on in my comments. It's not uncommon to see people mistake a video frame rate for the shutter speed of their video. A shutter speed is one way we control exposure. You know, we don't really use a physical shutter on a smartphone, but the concept is the same. Each photo or each individual frame of video uses a set period of time to soak up light. It's literally just a measurement of time. You know, the longer each frame can soak up light, the brighter the image will get. The faster each frame gets, the darker that image will be. But you'll also capture a sharper slice of action. You'll freeze movement better. Generally, all other settings being equal, doubling the time of your exposure will double the light. An exposure two seconds long is letting in twice as much light as an exposure one second long. I think this is pretty well understood and it's easy to demonstrate for photos, but the exact same mechanic works for video too. Video is a series of individual images, individual frames. The folks I've seen confused look at the video frame rate and often make an assumption that the video operates only at the maximum time per that frame rate, where there is actually a little evidence to support that. If you shoot night video at 30 frames per second, that will be noticeably brighter than video shot at 60 frames per second. At 30 frames per second, the maximum length of time each frame can soak up light is 1 30th of a second. At 60 frames per second, literally 60 images <laughs> captured every second, the maximum shutter you can use is 1 60th of a second. Ha ha, but shutter speed can operate independently from the frame rate. Video in daylight conditions often uses a much faster shutter speed. If it's bright, you can use a faster shutter to reduce the amount of light hitting each frame. Your camera might be shooting 30 frames per second, but each individual frame might only be open for one one thousandth of a second or faster. That's why daylight video from a phone might look choppy or stuttery. In Hollywood, 24 frames per second looks cinematic, uh, but there are other tools like aperture and neutral density filters used to reduce light and keep a longer exposure per frame. A bit more motion blur in each frame delivers that look that we think of as cinematic. Truck backing up, and now it's gone. When you crank the shutter, each frame is a tiny slice of the amount of time available in each frame. So there's a larger gap from frame to frame, and each frame is more perfectly frozen slice of action. Without that motion blur continuity, frames don't blur or transition as smoothly. On our phones, because we usually can't control the aperture, controlling the shutter speed is the main way we compensate for bright conditions. Now, knowing how to control light gives us the tools we need to make our content look smoother, faster, edgier, or more cinematic. You can choose the frame rate you need for a particular effect, but then you also need to lock your shutter for the right application. Just a quick dive down the terms that we might take for granted, and thank you for coming to my tech talk. As always folks, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to see more of these photography and video topic videos, drop me some comments down below. I'd really like to see if we can put together better tools and better resources so that we can get the most out of our portable pocket computers and cameras. You know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next video.